Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 1080 Ti that NVIDIA just released and we're going to be taking a look at it in Octane Render. So basically last time we did the Titan X's comparison, uh, we used uh, the Octane Bench which was a sort of a hack uh, sort of thing, but um, basically this time we're actually going to render a scene through Cinema 4D. Um, it was brought to our attention that uh, some of the uh, utilization under that benchmark isn't at 100% with Pascal. Uh, and whilst it's it's all relative i thought you know what better than a real world sort of use we should look at um at, you know actually rendering a project file okay so the scene that we're going to use was a it's a free scene so you, you're more than welcome to download it um i'll put a link down in the description basically it's from a place called curse studios uh he does like heaps of tutorials um and that sort of stuff and he, it's a turntable scene which i'll pop up on the screen um basically he uh, adapted this from a 3ds file i believe i can't remember exactly but i think the original render was corona and then he's taken it into cinema 4d and converted all the materials and so forth to get this picture done in octane so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the titan x of the maxwell so basically which is on par with the 980 ti uh, in, in regards to performance in octane render we're going to look at the titan x from pascal and we're going to look at the 1080 ti uh, you know i feel nvidia has really uh, fucked over the uh, Titan X Pascal owners by releasing, uh, you know, a GPU with 11 gig of VRAM in compared to 12 gig, and I feel there is no real difference there. Uh, I guess the one gig might help some people, but you know, once you're over that 10 gig part, I just feel it's just too close. And uh, we'll have a look at the performance to see how close or does the 1080Ti perform better than the Titan X Pascal you know uh, people have invested a lot of money uh, I know a few people who went out and bought like five uh, Titan X Pascals for their systems and um, I know they're not very happy especially when the 1080 Ti came out at half the price uh, so I'm sure there's a lot of upset people out there but you know um, that's life and every year or 18 months we sort of get a card for half the price that's sort of double the power uh, and that happened with the 1070 recently uh, where it was you know just as fast uh, as a Titan X for half the price um, you know but these things happen but let's look I'll show what we'll do is we're going to jump into the screen now and I'll get you a look at the um, the, the scene file and how it's set up uh, and how to you know run the test yourself so you can see how it compares to your current card and see what the performance difference is okay now just jumping into cinema 4d you're going to double click the file um, and this is what it should look like for you um, everything's pre-done all materials are there um, I've just quickly done a quick preview but main settings here is you're going to want path tracing and this set to 2000 samples um, and the image should be set up 1080 just make sure it is um, but the main thing here is the path tracing at 1080 so jumping straight into rendering all three, um, I know they look a little bit off but they actually uh, started all at the same time um, and I'm just messing about here with uh, the viewer window but um, uh, rest assured the time is pretty much on par for all of them. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just speed it up instead of waiting around. Okay, so now both the 1080 Ti and the Titan Pascal uh, with identical times at 3 minutes and 38 seconds each. Um, you know, I, I guess we expected that, but um, uh, I was actually surprised to see them finish in the exact same time. Uh, and now we're just still waiting for the Maxwell Titan, but once again I'll just speed that up so we can uh, get through this faster.
Okay, finished up, and the Maxwell Titan is at, you know, 4 minutes 59 seconds. Just call it 5 minutes. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, you know, the 1080 Ti performed just pretty much on par, uh, if not just a little bit better than the Titan X. Uh, you know, uh, did Nvidia piss off a lot of people? Probably, you know, but too bad, I guess. Uh, and we'll see, you know, a, a big difference when the adding partners start releasing their cards. You know, some better bin chips and then, you know, better cooling, better power delivery uh, and all that stuff you know, you could see a, a, a huge gap. Not a huge gap, but you know, when you're talking about uh, stacking them like that, you know, um, you might see a, a greater gap between the 1082i and the Titan X. Um, and that's just the way it is, I guess. Um, but you know, who's to say how much more they could squeeze out of it with the add-in partners. Uh, so if you liked it, thank you for watching. But uh, the video editing uh, reviews will be up soon. They do take me a little bit longer to do, uh, roughly a week or so, but I thought I might just quickly to get um, the, the the octane preview out so you know everyone who's sort of up in arms over making a decision can can do that as well and don't forget you know the scene file is there so anyone using cinema 4d and octane can actually grab the files and compare it um, to their current setup and see where it sort of stands compared to the benchmarks that we uh, put together but um thanks for watching subscribe like dislike i don't know um, but until uh, next time see ya